All right, listen, America, we've got an issue. Women, we've got an issue. Men, we've got an issue, man. Y'all keep, no matter how many videos I do, trying to suck me the hell in to y'all supposed beef, issue, fight. Some kind of rivalry that's going on. Now I thought I addressed this by doing three different videos. But apparently my mistake was I did three separate videos kind of touching on the topics. And not one concise damn video covering it all. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. See, keyword attempt. Because I cannot guarantee it. It's a very complex issue. But I'm hoping by the time I'm finished with this, I will no longer get the crazy damn comments on one side or the other side from both parties. And especially on my channel. So I'm going to make myself very clear where I personally stand. Because there's a lot of generalizations and there's a lot of stereotypes and a lot of BS going on. Lots of rhetoric, and a lot of caca being thrown both directions. Watch till the end. What's up, folks? Rich's Method, back at it again. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, yeah, like early, share. Go ahead and share this on Facebook or any other social medias. And uh, as we go through after you've checked out the video, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what's on your mind. For anybody who has done the super thanks and for anybody who has done the cash app, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. And also, guys, don't forget to go check out my ebooks and audiobooks on payhip.com slash riches method. All right. So let's go. All right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm getting ladies now and y'all doing crazy comments, too. Not as many y'all, but you're out there. Okay, so both ladies and gentlemen, I want to be very clear on something. I do not condone or try to apply to large generalizations. I'm not going to be extreme on one direction or the other 90% of the time. Now, there is no one only type of female in the world. And there is no one only type of male in the world. There is no one type of black people in the world, whether black females or black males. We got to stop the BS people. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Now, as black people, we're not all one thing. We're not all just because of a skin color going to believe, do, like, dislike, not want to, do want to, do any one thing. Your identity, it's not based on that. Now, when it comes to your sexual born status, male or female. Yeah, I do know there's a lot of in-betweens these days. But once again, let's not do the BS. Let's just talk about the, the, the majority of the world, which is a normal born male who is straight and a normal born female who is straight. Even those people, because they're either male or female, are not going to be all one thing ever doesn't matter where you go now the third thing culture people you know for you who don't want to see a passport i gotta remind you that if you're from the united states canada the uk these are very culturally diverse countries so there's no excuse that because you have not traveled that you cannot understand that cultures are different so if you're in any major city in any of the North American countries, you have come in contact with several different cultures, including different races, even within your country, if you don't have a passport and you've never been anywhere. So I'll say to you this, you can have black people from the continent of Africa who will have a certain culture 
And within that continent, you then have about 54 countries who each have individual cultures. So that in itself also shows you that all black people are not all the same thing. Now, throughout the world, men and women, what are we doing? We also have different cultures. Men from one culture can behave completely different from men from another culture. So this generalization that, you know, all brothers who want to travel is because they hate all black women or the one I'm hearing to, they all hate all American women. It's BS. Now, will there be a small percentage where that is true? Absolutely. Listen, I'm not a fool. That is exactly the point I'm trying to get through that there is no one all of one thing or the other thing people you gotta let that go each individual person male or female should have choice Choice is up to them now i have no problem specifically me with all black women because not all black women are the same now i particularly might have a problem with the united states culture that it breeds when it comes to some women within that culture. Why do I say that? I have personally dated and been in love with American women before. And if I was to meet a certain one of a certain mindset, I would still date her. Now, personally these days, I tend to lean not towards the culture of American women. Whether that is white, Spanish, yeah, see? Because a girl can move from a Latin country into the United States and pick up certain pro cultural profiles, you see, that is indicative of that country's culture. Chinese, you can name it. All right? I don't give myself limitations, really. I'm about abundance. So if I meet a woman of any type, any race, and I happen to personally like her, I like her. Now, preference. If I'm going to go out and say, let me meet this type of woman, that is normally what I prefer and would more, as a man, go after. But it has nothing to do with whether or not that's my end all be all. So I don't want to hear any more nonsense on my channel. Oh, you're a passport brother, so you must like this. Or the women who are like, what's wrong with black women? Because their assumption now is because we're all taking these sides. That it must mean that I don't like black women. I've always liked black women. I've been with a white girl, but never seriously. I have two kids by two black women. People, you got to understand something. Culture might be a difference, but race might be a difference also. And these other stereotypes might be a difference. No matter, no matter where I go in the world, my preference will never be, no matter what culture, what race, a ghetto acting woman. It's just not for me. It's not my thing personally, right? So I will not take away another man's choice to say he doesn't like a particular culture or a particular social status either. Everyone should have their individual options. Black women, you've always dated every other race. Some, I've met black women who have said, I will never date a black man. Now, she might have been talking about within the United States or within her particular culture, and maybe she would have dated a black man who was from another culture in Africa. I don't know. I didn't care. If it didn't personally apply to me, and there was times when I was interested in a woman and she was like, nah, and I was like, damn, all right, well, hey. No, with that said, with enough time, maybe that same woman getting to know me personally might have had a change of heart. Maybe something happened to her in the past, right? Or maybe nothing happened to her and that's just what she likes. Nothing wrong with it. So I want to remind you guys, I want the same to apply. No, I personally seek peace. That's me as a man. Now, I can't speak for all men, but I will speak for most men. Most men I've encountered, most men I've ever talked to, I've ever known, for the most part, don't like drama and we seek peace. Now, with that said, think about it. Who is the most aggressive culture in the world? Yeah, people. Who is the country, the country that brings most drama to the rest of the world? Who is the culture 
that is very aggressive. Now, let's face it, that doesn't equal peace, right? Women and men, I believe, for the most part, would want or should want, if you're balanced, if you're mentally okay, and we also know which country has most mental issues, right? If, you, if a country's not at war physically, these different issues shouldn't really exist, and it tells you there's something within the culture, right? So, given that most human beings would seek peace, and not want to be disrespected, you've got to ask yourself, is there an illness within that culture? Most men seek peace. They're always going to go towards that. No matter where you are, the women and men in the world who are going to last in their relationship gives each other peace, respect, and they grow together. And men especially, we're going to levitate, we're going to, we're going to be drawn towards that, right? We already have to deal with the world itself. We don't want to have to come home to the same issues. So drop your comments below. All right, folks, and with that said, Rich's Method, signing out. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, drop that like, share this, please, on Facebook and the other social media platforms for anyone you think it'll be, uh, you know, important to and will help them. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.